Hi, thank you for watching this video. I've had a number of people ask me how um, different techniques on distressing paper and these are kind of the different things that I like to use. The first, um, this is my very favorite. This is actually included, I included it in the September kit for Tidbits in Time called uh, Rusty Botanicals, but um, it's a verse some magic chalk ink and it is amazing. I pretty much use it on every one of my pages. It's the same as this one here. I also use um, different Tim Holtz Distress inks, uh, this black archival ink, I use walnut ink, uh, glimmer mist, and a foam applicator to get the ink on, on my paper. So I will go through a few different techniques that I use when I'm distressing paper. The first thing, or one of my favorite things that I like to do um, and you can do this as much or as little as you want, is to ink the edges of your paper. So this paper started out looking um, more similar to this color, and um, just by inking the edges different colors of ink, you can really beat that piece of paper up. So um, to get this look, I started with my piece of paper. Um, you'll take your lightest color of ink first. In this case, I have an antique uh, distressed linen, and I put some ink on that paper. So you can take your foam applicator and just start brushing it up on there. If you're not getting enough by doing it this way, you can take your ink pad and simply swipe it across your paper and this will get more ink onto your paper. You just have to be careful because sometimes you can overdo it a bit. So after you have that one, then I take uh, my darker color of ink, one shade darker or you know however many shades darker you want and I layer that over top of the first color. And the final one I do that you do want to be careful with is the black. Now you can put as much or as little as you want, but I start out by just doing the edge. Um, that does make it look more distressed. If you want a little more than that, you can take your foam applicator and you can start bringing it back into your paper and then take a clean side and start blending it together. Now you can even take this, the edges, distressing of the edges of your paper, you can take it one step further by taking your scissors and scraping it against the edge of your paper. And that'll start flaking that paper off. And you can get an edge that looks uh, something like that. The next technique that I like to do, to push this stuff all to the side, is I like to roll my paper up. So I have different ways that I did that here. Um, here I ripped V's out of paper. So you can just rip a chunk out and then just roll those edges back. Like that like that and then you can either ink it before you roll them or you can ink them afterwards but inking it really adds a lot when you roll those edges to make it look more distressed and this looks kind of neat when you layer it on top of other other paper and you can start you know see the other paper behind it sometimes I've even done it twice where I take so I rolled this one back now I would take my paper that's on the back side and rip out another chunk and roll that one back too. And that's kind of kind of fun. I like to do that as well. Another option that you have um, is to roll the whole bottom edge of your paper. And to do that, at first I do the first thing I do is ink the back of it, the part that you're going to roll up. Kind of get that saturated with ink. paper over and then you can roll that up and this is going to put creases in it and that's okay what you'll want to do after you roll it is take a darker ink color than you used the first time and swipe it across there and that'll bring out those creases so as you can see we rolled both sides and have torn that 
Um, the last thing, and I maybe should have mentioned this first, this is the most basic of your tearing techniques, but is, you know, whatever way you rip it is going to give it a different look. So if you tear it towards you, you're going to see the white edge tearing it away from you, you'll see the other edge. And I always, always, always ink those edges too, that helps um, blend it in. So, you know, if you're distressing everything on your whole page, just remember to ink everything and that'll tie it all together. So if you have any questions um, about this, you can always email me at wendy at tidbitsintime.com. This is kind of a hard video for me to film. I wasn't real sure what um, you know people wanted to see or what people know and what they don't know, but um, you can always let me know. The last thing that I, not related to this at all, but one of the distressing techniques I like to use is uh, walnut ink. And what I do when I have walnut ink is I... So I, I don't, you can mist it, but I have trouble with that unless you're um, using a mask. But I like to unscrew the cap and just dot it on my paper. So just kind of let, let, let it splatter on its own. And this will just put splatters all over. Um, you know, you can do as much or as little as you want, but that is kind of fun. I like to do that when you're just playing around, um, not necessarily... Giving, it gives it a distressed look, but entirely different from inking the edges of your paper. So after that dries, it really looks neat on the, on the paper. So again, if you have any questions, please email me at wendy at tidbitsintime.com. Thanks for watching.